So you're thinking of picking up a Galaxy Fold and you're wondering, how do I use the UI? How do I use both displays? How does it all function? Well, here's a video for you, uh, showing you how you can use the Galaxy uh, Fold and how everything works. So the first thing you realize with the Galaxy Fold is that you do have two displays. There's one in front here, 4.5 inches. There's of course our second display here, which is our larger display. And when using your Galaxy Fold, there is something called continuity, moving from screen to screen with ease. Now you can go ahead and use all your applications on this screen, the 4.5 inch display. Um, doesn't matter whether it's games, whether it's, um, uh, your social media apps, you can go ahead and use those and you can use them to the full ability. You can go ahead and type and, uh, you know, um, the keyboard here layout is as such a little bit smaller for me, but you get the general idea. So as you can see, we're here, we're scrolling through um, Instagram. We like this image that looks nice. I want to see it on a larger display and go ahead and open this up and boom, I'm right there. I'm right back in my Instagram uh, app. And I went to the wrong section, but I can go ahead and view. I see Jaime here as he's talking about the Galaxy Fold. Um, but you get the idea, and that continuity works with different applications. So, you know, I'm gonna close this out again. I'll go ahead and open a different app. Let's try Twitter. Now, now every app has this functionality built in, but a lot of apps do, and the SDK is out for developers to take advantage from. So I can check this one here from Reggie. Reggie's saying goodbye, you know, Reggie, who of course led Nintendo into many different paths, and I can open it here. But you can see it's not in the full app layout, so you have this icon here, and that lets you basically um, expand everything to full screen. So that's what app continuity does. Now this will also work with video content too. So you're wondering what about YouTube videos, for instance, if I'm watching a video and you go out here, you go back to YouTube, you open up a video. What do we have for videos here on YouTube? Uh, you can see uh, Mark just did an hey, unboxing. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. I am out. Ooh, sorry, Mark just did an unboxing of, of course, Soldier Knows Best of the Galaxy Fold. So we can watch it here. We can actually go ahead and change, actually change the rotation of this on the screen. And you can see it here and we can go ahead and open it up. And that's what I like. I like this continuity. This is really cool, awesome. Now with YouTube videos, you can expand or change the aspect ratio. What you see here is what you get. It's very simple, very standard. Now different applications have different views. So let's go over to another video app this time. We'll jump into Netflix, for instance, and we'll watch some content there. And uh, we were watching Thor Ragnarok the last time. So let's go ahead and look for Thor, continue, play. And you can see Thor here. It's got that, uh, you've got, it's got the black bars on top and bottom. You can go ahead and expand this and get like a four by three um, aspect ratio to it. So you get the idea with how this actually works. It's nice, um, it's very different in terms of this functionality. Now, moving over to the UI, before we get to some of the multitasking, which is really cool, the UI interface is still one UI, of course, but just one UI for the Galaxy Fold. So you have everything you expect, you can go ahead and swipe through, your access points are at the bottom of the display mostly, so for most of the things, so if you look at the browser here, you can see that, um, most of the options for the browser are at the very bottom of the screen. That is the uh, Samsung browser. Uh, when you pull down from the top, some of your features that you do have here, uh, things like wireless power share, which we do have on this device. And then we can scroll through, we can switch on, toggle on and off night mode if we want to. Um, and we've got Dolby Atmos. So those features are there with One UI. And then if we go into the settings, Again, your setting layout is very similar. So a lot of these things are very similar to what we've seen with One UI here. Now, some of you are wondering about the crease. You might have seen it. You might see it in some angles here. Yes, the crease is visible on this, but uh, you can also hold it this way and you can see how that actually looks. Uh, to me, it's not, it's not something that um, 
uh, that has bothered me in my use so far, but I, I, I will say that it's something you can see. Uh, it's just it's just the uh, it's just something you get with this kind of display again this is not a, a glass display now one of the coolest new features is the multitasking which you can actually multitask up to three or four um, apps at the same time so I will show you how to do four apps at the same time on here uh, the easiest of course is starting off with YouTube and watching the YouTube video and I have Mark's video here, so I'm just gonna basically pop out of it and have that going up there. Then I swipe from the right, if I actually move this away, and uh, go ahead and swipe from the right. And we're gonna go ahead and open up my browser. And that's the browser there. I can go ahead and open up, uh, say, um, the Galaxy Store. That's the second application. Just hit no. And then I open up a third application here, say Pinterest. So now I've got four different apps open. I've got the browser here, I've got the Galaxy Store, I've got Pinterest. And again, if you guys look for any of these wallpapers, ooh, this is pretty nice. I'm gonna actually download that one right now. Um, I have them up on my Pinterest page. But you can move the apps around, so I'm gonna close out um, YouTube. I can move the Galaxy Store over here, so I just basically top drag and Galaxy Store is moved and then Pinterest is moved here and vice versa. You can do that and if you want to close any of these apps out, you can just hit the X there and that closes out and this is where the browser is. I can go ahead and change locations for any of these. I can change distance size, that kind of thing. So you get the idea and it allows for very fluid functionality of your your Galaxy Fold. And it's a really nice thing to have on here. The fact that you can go ahead uh, through in a different application. I have my my uh, my Facebook here. I can go through that while I'm doing that and add something else, a third application to add YouTube because I want to continue watching Mark's video. I can still have that. So you have that ability to put this um, uh, places around the device in any way you see fit. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so I think that's a really awesome feature. Three, two, one, go. So I think that's a really awesome feature uh, with the Galaxy Fold. So this is the keyboard layout, the Samsung keyboard layout, when you are uh, in the tablet mode, and this works for any application that you choose to. So if I jump into Instagram, it's the same layout. If I jump into Twitter, it's the same layout. But if I change this to the Gboard, which most people use, or Gboard, Google Keyboard, this is the layout you get, a standard keyboard layout across the board. So whatever you want to use, you can use that with the Galaxy Fold and um, Google hasn't uh, implemented a split keyboard layout yet. If that's something you prefer, then the Galaxy keyboard or Samsung keyboard is what you should use. So you get the idea of what you can do with the Galaxy Fold. Now the cameras, we've got a bunch of cameras on the system. We've got two internal cameras, we've got three cameras in the rear. The three rear cameras are similar, exact same cameras you find on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And then you've got one 10 megapixel front facing camera. So it doesn't matter where you are. And of course the fingerprint sensor on the side, I'm gonna go unlock. I can open up the camera here. And this is the rear camera showing me my rear camera. Um, I can go ahead and go ultra wide, standard uh, 2X zoom. And then I can go ahead and switch. When it's closed in this fashion, it switches to this front-facing camera. You can see this right here. Now, if I go ahead and open this up, it switches to the front-facing camera internally. So you can see, again, that continuity flows quite well with this. I have to clean off the camera, but you get the idea. And when I go ahead and switch this, it switches to the rear camera. So the, uh, the rear camera is always the camera behind uh, at the back of the device. It depends whether if you're in, uh, I call it tablet mode, then you're gonna have the internal camera, which is within the two folds. If you're in just regular phone mode, then you're gonna be using this camera here outside. So that gives you a better idea of what it is. Uh, just to give you some just uh, things around the device, you've got a uh, USB Type-C port. You've got the stereo speakers. There is no headphone jack and there is no micro SD. So that's just something to take note. But so far so good. I really like the functionality and use of the Galaxy Fold uh, in terms of just moving from application to application and also gaming. That's one of the biggest things that I like. Gaming and watching content. So if I'm traveling, I think this will work out really well for me 
to actually either game or watch content on the road. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy Fold and you want to see certain things about this device, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.